There's two main things that I want to work on in 2018 for the YouTube channel. One is to upload every single day if it meets quality. And two is to start and finish series that have a stop and start uh, mentality behind it, such as the Russian heavy tank series that we started with the IS-2 and then we just stopped at the IS-3. This was back in December. And I've been getting some requests or just like, yo, where, when's the next heavy tank episode? And uh, we need to finish it because that's what, that's what the whole point of this series was, is to start from the IS-2 and finish on the T-10M. And so to put our foot in the right direction, today's video, we're going to be playing out the IS-4M, which back in the day was, <laughs> oh my gosh, this tank was actually feared. Like, you would back up in reverse and hope they didn't see you so you could get to a better location so you wouldn't have to go through 140 millimeters of front armor sloped at 62 degrees with the, I guess, left and right side of the upper plate being at 160. Sloped at 50, uh, 53, and then we have a horizontal slope as well. Imagine how this thing would have performed just facing AP, and APHE and APCBC, those were the only rounds this armor faced. Nothing could get through it from the front. Maybe a trap shot, maybe a cupola shot. That's about it. This thing was so entirely strong. And now, um, this thing's not. The armor is nullified by heat, which it should be in the game and in real life. But not all heat rounds are created equally. There's one heat round that might have trouble punching through this much armor and this much slope. The other heat rounds are ones that can penetrate 400 millimeters, no problem. But one of the most popular heat rounds at 7.7 .7 and even 6.7 is the 90 millimeter heat that has uh, 320 millimeters of penetration at any range, only at 90 degrees. But hopefully I'm reading this correctly here. We have effective thickness of this rolled homogenous armor at about, if you shoot me straight up right here, 264 millimeters of effective thickness. So we're at 60 degrees. To impact this, you have to hit at 30 degrees, right? Uh, let me, again, let me know in the comments below because I think it's kind of confusing on how they uh, demonstrate it. There needs to be a little more clarification about it because the RU251 has that heat. Here is the RU251's heat shell at 30 degrees. That's how it's gonna impact our tank, I believe. It only has 159 millimeters of pen. And two questions I have right now. Is this, does this mean it cares about effective thickness? Because if it does, there's no way this round's getting through our upper plate or it doesn't care about effective thickness at all. Um, because, well, this thing has 140 and it will go right through it. And you know what? We'll leave the talking out. Let's just see it in action. All right. I found one. You know what? I think it's going to chew right through it because it doesn't, it doesn't care about effective thickness. Here we go. Yep. Yep. Right through it. Right through it. That's what I thought. Okay. Ammunition's right here. Ooh, okay. The nice thing is the ammo racks are stored uh, in these angled cheeks, I guess, of the upper plate, which is hard for this thing to go through. Let's just see again. Oh, it's so darn close. To not going through. Let's check the uh, turret. This is going to be interesting. Because what I can see now is that if we see a tank that has this heat round, which we will at this BR, all we kind of have to do is make sure that we're angled a little bit. Because now it won't be able to go through at all on that upper plate. This is going to be fun today. Now let's check our cheeks because those are not angled anymore, but they should be over... Huh. Okay, good. Ooh, yeah. It was able to go through. Yikes. It's such a... It has to be like a perfect angle. 
Because these have more armor on them, but they're sloped less. Okay, maybe like this. Okay, that's going to be our gun to about 30 degrees left to right. All right. Oh, uh, and we didn't really touch on the gun, but the gun is like a 122 millimeter Russian derp gun that you, you look at something and it's dead. We're going to be taking the BR-471 shot. We're going to take 12 rounds. We're not going to be using this one. It has lower penetration. We're not going to be using this one because it has higher penetration. Uh, this one has a lot of explosive mass. This one has the same explosive mass, and this one has less explosive mass. The more penetration and we're on a small map so i'm i don't think we're gonna need that at all welcome to uh abandoned factory yes good 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 we have the germans on our side so uh, that reduces a, a high chance of 320 millimeter heat the downside is is that um reversing the british sabo oh shiza uh there's enemy chieftain so yeah, our armor means nothing now. Hello, comrades. The enemy has most of the strategic zones. Beautiful. Attention. On the reload. STB, STB! Open it up! <laughs> I love those machine guns. Alright, reload rate is horrible in this thing. But that was to be expected. Okay, T-54's moving. Is there anyone to... Okay, now this is a risky spot here because this T-62 gets pushed, which I think he just got nailed. I don't know. There's a lot of conflicting sensory overload right now. Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Hmm. I really, really enjoy how um, anti-air vehicles in this game have like a 90% higher survival rate on first shot than tanks in the game. Where is this Leo? He has to be right above me. We're going to ignore that Coelian again. Oh shit, there he is. Oh, 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 yes! We got him! Ooh, and there was a Leo down there, an Object 906 helped me out. That shot, I would have expected to bounce, though. Okay, almost ready for the Quillian. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, let's help, let's help, let's help, let's help. There we go. We did not save our 906, though. Now, this I do not recommend in the IS for him. But at the same time, our team pretty much has that spawn on complete lockdown. Oh, Jeebus. That was really, really strange. Don't know why that Diag tire didn't shoot me. Maybe he was in the process of reloading. Oh, shit. Kugel. Yep, took out my friendly there. Okay, capture an alpha. This has been one of the most enjoyable games in a heavy tank I've had in a while. Oh. This is a really nice spot. I can just look into their spawn right here. All right, that guy's dead. Backside. No! I saw him last second. Ah, oh, dang it. You shot us right in the back of the turret. Oh, I only had... Actually, I did a lot of ammunition there. So the first two games, we've been playing pretty elusive, not trying to get shot at all, putting our tanks in positions to where we have the advantage. Um, this game, we're just going to throw our tank out in the middle of the map here, flank a little bit, and hopefully see if we can't get shot and put this armor to good use. I don't... Where, why is no one over here? Gun to the right. We had that one guy get away from us. Vickers MBT's gone. There's still a M46 over there. Maybe <laughs> maybe we should have just gone straight up to Charlie to get some shots on our armor. They're capturing Alpha. No one went to Bravo, though, which is a good sign. This guy has no idea we're here. Attention to the designated grid zone. You have to check this spot. If you're flanking to Charlie, you have to check the left side. Because there's some asshole like me who's always going to be using it because no one checks it. And I shouldn't give you guys these tips because then my strategies are not going to work anymore. Another zone captured. We have the advantage. Oh, Jesus. An M103 in this game. That's a scary tank. That's a very scary tank. We've been sitting here for probably about a... I was going to say minute, but probably 30 seconds. Okay, they're capturing Alpha, and they're capturing Charlie. Interesting. We'll use negative 10 reverse speed to get back into shooting position. Attention to the map. Has to, has to be behind a pillar or two.
the enemy controls most of the strategic zones. That was the capper? Okay, it was just one lonely M47. Um, I think I've done exactly what I didn't want to do this battle, and that's to stay elusive. It's just in my habit. No eyes on the M103 yet. Um... I don't know. I'm gonna assume that he's he's camping down here. There he is. They're playing peekaboo right now. If he pushes up a little bit more, we can get a shot on him. Right there. Beautiful. Okay, that's gonna be a GG. Rest is cleanup. I don't think that side was able to get any caps. Just because that M47 was pretty close, but then we we're able to kill him before they got that RP or. Excuse me, SP. Now we're going to be doing the armor soaking thing. We're just kind of playing pretty dumb, going to positions that I normally wouldn't do. But because this thing has an immense amount of armor, I think uh, this should be fun. At the same time, we are at 8.0 with a T62. Yeah, okay. There's chieftains here. This guy's going. Oh, jeez. That was awesome. He did go through us, but didn't do too much damage. One crew member down. Got his lower plate. On the reload. Got some guys over here to the left. Never mind. God, we're taking out the chieftains early game. Okay, almost reloaded. Let's push up. Whoa, big dog. We're gonna see if we can tank this shell. Nice. No, nothing, nothing. Try to get his lower plate. Try to get his track. Nothing worked out though. Come on, bounce it. Yes. <laughs> It's awesome. I, hey, heat been stabilized. Got us from somewhere. I don't know where it was, though. Front left, maybe? That kind of scared me. I don't know where it came from. Got him. It's a Vickers MBT, but that Vickers MBT is long gone now, I think. Okay, now if we push up any more, we're going to be showing our... What kind of strategy was that? I don't even know how that guy didn't die right there. We're going to stay here for a second. We're going to reload a crew member because if we don't get this loader back up, uh, it's going to take forever. Forever for this 122 millimeter to reload. Our victory is here. Can we shot trap him, you think? We gotta move now. I think that was a Centurion. It just poked out, went back into cover. Okay, pushing up. Whoa, maybe we shouldn't push up yet. Tank to our right. Tank right there as well. This guy is easy food. Fuck. Conqueror just shot. Beautiful. And a chieftain on our right. I think he's in smoke though. Or he is in smoke. We can't see him. Huh. This reload rate this time seems much faster than the one where we reloaded our crew member. Yep. Yeah, there goes that Centurion. He doesn't even want to mess with me. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's going to be a full repair here. 15 seconds, not that bad. Nice, he's dead. Engaging as hell. I don't think we were reloaded yet, so we might have to reload this round again, which kind of sucks. Oh, good. All right, we're good to go. Okay... Enemy aircraft shooting at me. No bombs, please. 
Not the flank. Yeah, our left side, there was absolutely no one there. Right for the back of the turret where the ammunition's at. We should have a respond. Little update, we're back at Bravo. Our team killed the Vickers. And uh, we are all, there's no way we can lose now. Not with this late game cap. Another zone captured. Yeah, all of us just got the ability to take more tanks out. We got a P-47 coming in with two trailers. Ouch. That was that was the H-bar. Or maybe it was the... Um... Got a hit on him. Another hit. That sounded awesome how the shots were alternating. Yeah, now we're going to play some, some anti-air time. There should be an 84 somewhere. Oh, sure. Stall climb? Yes, 50 cows. Take him out. We're out of ammo. Oh, ZSU nailed him. Uh oh, T-54 might need her help. I wish teammates could offer FPE. Oh, sorry. Bat fingers, my bad. Like, wouldn't that be cool to have, like, you know, maybe they have to be in your squad, I don't know. But they can see you're burning and they can travel to you before you burnt up. Oh, Jesus. Look at that guy. That guy can't be alive. Oh, my gosh. Thank gosh. That was spooky as hell. Okay, someone's on our left, it seems like. We're gonna turn our armor to that location. Whoa! What is this thing? I'm just gonna shoot at where I think I, yeah, that was an M46. That's got the um, 90 millimeter heat. We're gonna push out there at a nice angle. Nice, good job. And this will be the kill here, hopefully. Beautiful IS for him. Oh my gosh, this 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 is a really nice tank at 7.7. .7. I used to bash on this thing a lot because whenever I used to play the Leos, we would easily be able to run through these guys. And that's one thing we really didn't face too much this game. Or this video. We did have uh, on Corellia a lot of Leos, but they weren't able to really get shots on us correctly. So, fellas, hope you have enjoyed today's video with the IS-4M. This went extremely well today. I thought we would struggle against um, the British tanks and the 400 millimeter pen heat or just the 105 millimeter heat. Um, though we did verse those guys, they weren't really able to inflict their damage on us too well. A tip I would give you guys is just put a bush right here. Everyone shoots there, and if you can obstruct their vision, maybe wiggle your tank a little bit, you'll have a much higher chance of bouncing around or making them hit, you know, let's say a slope of that weak spot, which entail would bring it up to, yeah, like that. Or just a worst case scenario, just like that. So it's 300 millimeters instead of 190. Definitely put a bush there while the game allows it. Guys, again, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Peace out.